assalamu alaikum dear students today we will discuss about the solutions of a linear equation uh, and um, in one variable and in two variables for example if you have a linear equation x plus 2 equals 3 x equals to find the solution of this linear equation you have learned it in your previous classes that we solve it in this way x equals 3 plus 2 transfer equals this is minus 2 x is equal to 3 minus 2 this equals 1 so this is the solution of linear equation i have already told you that in previous lecture in previous lecture that linear equation in one variable has only one solution and this solution can be represented on a number line you have a number line this is your zero this is your one this is the solution of a number you can represent it uh, on in, you can represent if you have you can also represent uh, this in the coordinate systems like you have here x this is x your x equals one you can write it one comma zero x one and y zero now to find the linear equation of linear equation in two variables to find the solution of a linear equation in two variables suppose we have a linear equation x plus y equals three how will you find it a solution i already told you that linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions so to find the solution what will what we will do is that keep one variable aside make one variable independent one variable dependent for example keep y as uh, in on the lhs side and 3 transfer this x here this is 3 minus x now change y depends upon the x here when you change x you can get the value of y x is a real number so x can assume x can take any value suppose for x equals 0 for x equals 0 we have y is equal to 3 minus 0 so one solution is here x is 0 and y is 3 and you know it you have read it in the coordinate geometry this x that x is always written first and y is later this is known as x coordinate this is known as y coordinate and another solution you can find any you can give us any value to x for to find the second solution for example x is equal to 2 so y will be x is equal to 3 minus 2 this is 3 minus 2 this is 1 so you have find found another set of so another solution that is 2 comma 1 now let us take we will uh, it is not necessary that you have to just put the positive values here you can here you can uh, put any value we can plug any value here any negative for example uh, any value here let us suppose we will give here x equals minus 3 so y is equal to 3 minus minus 3 this is 3 plus 3 this is 6 so another set of solution is 3 this is minus 3 comma 6 so you have find three uh, set of solutions to this linear equation in fact you can find infinitely many solutions many set of solutions uh, uh, of linear equation in two variable also not necessary that you will transfer here y x here and find the solution you can also keep x here and transfer y here before that pause the video to note it down now we will uh, i will show you that <coughs> we will transfer now y make the y independent variable and x dependent variable x equals 3 minus y now you can uh, easily you can give any value to y to find the value of x for example for y equals 0 for y equals 0 x equals 3 minus 0 that is 3 you have find the one solution set that is 3 comma 0 for y equals minus 1 x equals 
3 minus minus 1. So this is 3, this is plus 1, this is 4. So you have find another set of solution 4 comma minus 1. For example, x equal, uh, y equals 2, x is equal to 3 minus 2, this is 1. So you have find another set of solution 1 comma 2. In this way, you can find any number of solutions. Actually, infinite number of solutions. Though you go, you keep going, you keep changing the value of y, you will find the corresponding value of x. Or you keep changing value of x, you can find the corresponding value of y. Now, I already told you that linear equation in two variables represents a straight line. Linear equation in two variables represents a straight line and remember this one thing any point on the number line on the graph of a linear equation represents the solution of a linear equation any solution any point on the number line on the graph of a linear equation represents the solution and any solution can be represented on the graph of a number line this is the property um, which is true on both sides any solution can be represented on the graph of a number line or any point on the number line on the uh, graph of a linear equation represents the solution of a linear equation for example i will give you an example if you have any linear equation for example you have the linear equation suppose this is the graph of a some linear equation if you have a point here 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 suppose this is <coughs> this is 3 comma suppose uh, sorry you have the linear equation here here for example this is 1 comma 4 this is uh, here point 2 comma 3 so any point on the number line any point on the graph of a linear equation will represent the solution to a linear equation. This graph, this straight line is the graph of some linear equation and these points are its solutions. Now conversely, for example, we have a linear equation, this linear equation, again we are talking x plus y equals 3, where we get one value, suppose y is equal to 3 minus x, so solution was here. Uh, one solution was x equals 0, y equals 3. So 0, 3 or x equals 1, y equals uh, 2. So 1, 2 and 0, 3. For example, if this is the graph of a linear equation, 0, 3 and 1, 2 and you can represent this is the linear equation, graph of a linear equation and 0, 3. Here this is 0, 3 and this is here sorry sorry this is here 0 comma 3 and uh, this is your for example 1 comma 1 comma 2 here 1 comma 2 so every solution can be represented on a graph of a number we will uh, discuss about more that uh, how to find the solution of a linear equation and represent it graphically in subsequent lectures we will discuss about it uh, that uh, to find the solutions and represent it graphically and we, we will learn about it in subsequent lectures and I will uh, here try to solve the, one of the questions of the exercise 3.2 question number 2 to find the four solution set I will do it you know the procedure how to do this we have 2x plus y equals 7 this is text exercise 3.2 question number 2 part number first i told you that uh, to find the solution of a linear equation just to make one variable independent and another dependent here we have we can we can just make we can just make x independent y is equal to 7 minus 2x why we make y we can also make y independent but in that case you will get that you have to then divide that is bit of uh, uh, calculator for example you will write then uh, 2x equals 7 minus y and x is equal to 7 minus y divided by 2 this is also true this is also true whatever you uh, may like you can go this way or this way now 
keep going on changing this x for x equals 0 y equals 7 minus 2 into 0 y equals 7 minus 0 that is 0 so one solution set is 0 comma 7 for x equals 1 y equals 7 minus 2 into 1 this is 7 minus 2 this is 5 another pair of solution is 1 comma 5 for x equals for example minus 2 y is equal to 7 minus you have to put here these value use values you have to put here Sa here 7 minus 2 into minus 2 7 mi plus 4 this is 11 so another solution is x2 y 11 for again x is equal to minus 1 y equals put minus 1 here y is equal to 7 minus 2 into minus 1 this is 7 plus 2 this is 9 you have find another set of solution this is your in the in your textbook exercise 3.2 question number 2 and for question number uh, question number 2 part number second and third these are left as home assignment for you and after watching this video please submit the answers of these parts in the comment box thank you <coughs>